Hi everybody, Grant Pickley here, and I have been shooting with the Sony a6300 all year as well as with a Canon C100, and in making the switch over to a Sony camera, the biggest thing that worried me was, as you all know, the skin tones, and I was so used to getting that great look from a Canon C-Log profile that it took a long time to finally get the Sony on board and get the two cameras matching um, almost identically. Um, but I'm proud to say that after about a six hour session of just kind of color matching using some color charts and then over the past year refining that process uh, to better match the skin tones specifically, if you do any of your editing or color in Final Cut Pro X, DaVinci Resolve, or Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, or Photoshop, I have basically the key recipe. Now, this is simply uh, an effect that changes the way the pixels are mapped. Basically, it takes the reds, the greens, the blues, and it starts shifting all the values around to take how a Sony sensor sees it and pushes it towards how a Canon sensor sees it. This does not affect the brightness of your image. This does not affect your white balance. The only thing that matters is that you shoot in specific picture profile 8 with Cine 4 and then S gamut. I'm 90% sure you can use the Sony A7 series, the A7R, A7S. I'm not sure about the FS5 and FS7. Uh, people can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. As long as your camera has the advanced settings, then you can shoot in the Cine 4 Picture Profile 8 style with S gamut, and you can shoot in whatever ISO you want, whatever uh, white balance you normally do, you know, shoot it the best you can. And then this is strictly a post copy and paste effect. So the data values that you will apply in this effect will be done in your editor as long as it's one of those uh, top three. So an Adobe uh, DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro X. Okay, so just for an instance, while the original shot is the typical Sony shot. My color effect will tweak it. It will push it towards the Canon colors and then you are definitely welcome to do your standard white balance, your exposure changes, whatever you feel like doing to make that image how it's supposed to look. So in some of these samples, if you think maybe it's pushed a little too far red, the fact of the matter is, no, I just white balanced a little bit off in that shot. And we can just take a look at a couple other shots. So. We switch over to the Canon look and we come in and just kind of, uh, you know, it's a little bit uh, too contrasty for my taste, so I like to push it back. And just to illustrate how this effect will work, I'm just going to bring in any random clip and simply drop it under my adjustment layer and you'll be able to see how quickly this works. So we got a bridal party out on the street and now we'll drop it underneath the adjustment layer. And just like that, we've gone from Sony to Canon. And it's not simply a saturation boost. There's no way that would ever fix it. If it did, we'd all have zero problems on our hands. But um, as you can see, the skin tones, the red channels, the tan, the pale pink, they're all being properly represented as the Canon sensor would show it. So um, we'll bring in another clip here. Give me one second. Now we're looking at something indoors. Got our before and our after. And this is without doing any extra editing. There's no um, lift gamma gain. There's no mid-tones, highlights. None of that's touched up yet. We've got ourselves a great, great starting point. In fact, it's almost perfect. It, the saturation already looks pretty good and I don't know if I'd do too much editing to this. Now we're just gonna look at some before and after shots side by side from the Sony a6300 as well as the Canon C100. You can see with the Sony we shot in picture profile 8, Cine 4, S gamut, and the ISO range just varied based on the shot. And for the Canon we used a customized C-Log picture profile which I can't actually sell because I found it online for free. If you google it and search for it you'll probably find it. I'm including the C100 shots as a reference, even though the effect I'm selling for Sony cameras will not be usable for the C100. This is strictly to show how comparable a finalized C100 shot and A6300 shot can look when using my effect. And full disclosure, the shots that are completed on the right hand side not only include my color shift effect, but also the finalized noise reduction, 
a little bit of levels, adjustments, things like that to give it a polished look. Things that are important to note is it won't affect your brightness of your image. Uh, it won't affect the color temperature of your image, contrast, nothing like that. It's strictly how the color is displayed. Also, it will work universally on all daylight, indoor, low light, any footage at all that you throw at it that was shot with the proper Sony um, Picture Profile 8 Cine 4 settings. You just lay this uh, adjustment layer on there with the proper effect and boom, it works. It, it really won't affect how you shoot at all. Um, it just comes in and kind of remaps the pixels around. So I'm looking to sell this effect for $19.95 and literally for $20 for the rest of your shooting with your Sony camera, whether it's weddings, short films, mate of major film, anything like that, just getting out of the Sony skin tones forever. So when you purchase it, you will receive an email with the instructions and I'm also going to make a video tutorial just to kind of go over how it all works. So I hope that you are interested in this. I worked really hard on it and any project I start now, the very first thing I do is copy and paste my adjustment layer from one Premiere project into the new one and start everything in the Canon look. And it is great. It changed how I work and it's really, really saved me some time. And if you happen to hop on my YouTube channel or anything like that, looking for more examples, um, just note that any weddings we did before November 2016, I was still in the process of this recipe, so don't judge those as uh, final. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at grantpickle@gmail.com. at gmail.com. I'll put that in the description of this, and I'm gonna leave a, a website uh, link in the description as well, and that's where you'll be able to find it and officially get rid of those nasty Sony skin tones for good. Thanks, guys.